the empire of Orlandevich and Lanster. Today the children were supposed to learn about magicians. The teacher explained meditation, while you are focused, anyone could do it. Lin was sitting among the children and writing down the information that the teacher was saying. There were still small children around him in the classroom. It's been eight years. Eight years of preschool, Lin thought. Some of the brats his age had become independent magicians. And he was looking at two guys his age who were using magic. And the young man still couldn't even meditate. But if he wants to find out the truth about that year, he needs to become a magician, the level of a sage. Then, stretching his hand towards the sky, something fell on the young man. A guy ran to him, apologizing to the young gentleman. Because he was so absorbed in practicing magic that he accidentally got carried away, the guy said. Another asked why the young man didn't use a shield to block. And he started egging him on that their pathetic young master hadn't even finished his preschool. How could he use magic? Isn't the magic of the Lord very strong? Why is the young master still a beginner? Another boy replied to his companion that the young master was not an orphan adopted by the Lord. Lin listened to all this and the words about the orphan, the fact that he did not graduate from school and the fact that he was called a street boy cut into his soul. One boy asked another, How is this street urchin without a name worthy to be the heir of the Lord? Lin thought how these rascals knew all about how to stab knives into the heart. Here the boys were stopped by a knight, calling one of them a brat and asking what he was talking about, scaring him pretty much. Lin asked Carl to lower his sword, and the boys fled in horror. Carl was telling the young man that he should let him punish these boys severely. Lin said that the knight could not apply such a method to them. Addressing Charles, the young gentleman asked the knight if the king had given him a sword in order to use it against commoners. The knight was surprised and apologized to his master, saying that in the future he would not commit such stupidity anymore. Lin agreed and asked the knight why he had come to him. Carl had completely forgotten about it, and he said that the gentleman had received a letter from Mr. Oliver. He had to come back and take a look. The young man was surprised that the letter was from Mr. Oliver. Mr. Oliver, this is the one who helped hide the boy's name the year his father was in an accident. The benefactor who hid our hero here. Knowing that the young man could not perceive magic, Mr. Oliver tried to help him in every way. This time, he may have discovered something. Lin informed his father that he had returned. The latter greeted him with a smile and offered to go to his office as soon as possible. It was mom's older brother, Blaine Lanster. Mr. Oliver's message, he offered to listen together. In fact, the hero should call him uncle. But in order not to reveal his identity, they must be known to the world as foster father and son. Blaine touched the bird and asked her to read the letter. The bird greeted Duke Blaine. The magician reported that he was wandering around and accidentally came across an unusual magic book. Maybe she could help Lynn awaken his magic. And the bird gave the young man the book. A book made from animal bones. She was really unusual, the young man thought. So many years have passed, and no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't awaken his magic, Lynn thought to himself, recalling moments from his life. Maybe this time he will succeed. The uncle asked the young man not to force himself if he was very tired. Not everyone can be a magician, let alone a sage-level magician. If the young man wishes, he can always live as Lynn Lanster. The uncle informed the young man that, Firstly, it was Zoe who abandoned him. Why should the boy bear such a heavy burden for him and force himself to become a magician? The young man thanked his uncle for his kind words, but his father's betrayal was not so easy to accept. Previously, if a young man came home five minutes later, his father would become so anxious and fly all over the city in search of his son. Now he was stuck in the territory of the dragon, and the young man did not know if his father was alive. As his son, he couldn't just ignore it. Lin understood that his uncle was doing it all for him. But while the young man had a chance to find his father, he was not going to give up. Although from the young man's memory, his father rarely came home. The young man recalled his childhood, playing in his room as a little boy. Every time his father returned, he brought toys for him. The toys were amazing and the father asked his son if they were more fun than the ones he had now. Lin was happy. His father did everything possible to make him and his mother happy. Mom, watching her husband and son, asked if Zoe would leave this time too. Zoe responded positively, asking his wife not to worry. If all goes well, this will be his last expedition. He promised that the next time he returned, he would not leave anymore and their family would be able to continue their lives happily. But Lin's father never returned, and not only did he, his mother also went missing. The young man wanted to reunite this broken family. Maybe only he could do it. But will the magic book that he received from the magician be able to help him wake up? The teaching method recorded inside is completely different from orthodox magic. The young man thought that he had experienced failures countless times. What else could have happened to him? There should be nothing wrong with trying. And he concentrated, gathering, developing, approaching and failing again, the young man thought, but there was power hovering around him. When he saw her, he was overjoyed. Could he really use magic power? But then suddenly he felt sick. There was so much strength that the young man's body was about to explode. It was unbearable. Was he really going to die like that? 
There was no way he could die because he needed to find his family. Once in a world where everything was black and there was no magic power, the young man decided to figure it out and see what happened. He felt with his hand something that looked like an egg or a ball. A screen appeared in front of him, startling Lin. The screen greeted Lin. The young man jumped away from him in horror. Then an explanation appeared on the screen. It was his butler, Mr. Lanster. He had been waiting for him here for more than 10 years. And he told the young man that this place was his sacred estate. Dragon Farm. Lin wondered, Dragon, are there dragons nearby? The screen said that when the dragon egg that was in front of him hatched, the dragon would appear. Lin looked down at the ball he had found earlier. And it turned out that this thing was a dragon egg. That's right, the screen said. This is the young man's first dragon. He will not be able to return to his home world until he raises the first dragon and completes the main task of feeding. Lin thought that the butler was mocking him, because as soon as he raised the dragon, he would be eaten alive and would not be able to return home. Then the shell cracked. The butler informed that the young man needed to drip blood on the dragon egg before the shell burst or the dragon would eat it after hatching. Lin hurried to the egg. He had to do this form a bond with such a monster that could destroy the world. And he reached for the egg, from which the dragon was already ready to hatch. Does this dragon recognize our hero? Had he succeeded? Lin wondered. There was a little crying dragon lying in front of him. And is this a dragon, the scariest creature in the world? It was just a small cub. What was there to be afraid of? The young man thought and took off the shell from the dragon's head, which was entangled in it. But then the dragon screamed at Lin that how could that insignificant man dare to touch him and slap the young man in the face. He was surprised that he could still understand the language of dragons. The system stated that the task was completed and congratulated him on acquiring his first dragon, the rancher. For the task, he received 5 experience and 50 gold. The reward for beginners is 100 gold. Gold can be used to buy feed, build and expand fields. System gold and real gold are equivalent at a 1 to 1 exchange rate. Lin was glad that he could also use real money. The screen asked to continue the main task, namely, to build a nest for a fire dragon. Reward, 5 experience and 50 gold. The nest is for the fire dragon, that is, he will have to look up to this baby, Lin thought, holding a dragon in his hands, releasing flames and shouting to Lin that he was not going to cherish the house that the young man would create for him. The latter only nodded in response. Lin was choosing a nest on the screen that he could create for beginners for just 100 gold. It was very expensive. The dragon asked the young man to let him go. And how can a dragon like him use a house that someone like him built? The square expanded. The screen congratulated the young man on completing the task. He gets 5 experience points and 50 gold. The initial nest of the fire dragon paradise of the fire dragon is plus 1 growth per day. Can keep the limit of 500 gold per day. The dragon was delighted and climbed into his house in the form of a volcano with boiling lava. The young man looked at him and wondered, because just now he did not want this house. Considering that the dragon continued to scream at it, the young man decided to name it. Meanwhile, the dragon fell asleep. What a frivolous creature. After the baby fell asleep, the young man followed the instructions of the system and completed several simple tasks. Everything was done with just a few taps. It was quite comfortable for the young man to be the owner of such a farm. The dragon scale fruit was planted on the plantation. One of the favorite fruits of the dragon race, the cultivation period is one day. After feeding, plus 10 to the growth of the dragon. The young man asked the butler if he could leave, because he had raised a dragon and completed all the tasks. The system stated that in order to leave this place, he needed to use the exit command. And the young man left the farm. When he found himself in his bed, he saw hanging, sad faces above him. He did not understand what was happening. And then the residents of the house showed him that the young man had broken through the ceiling. Lin was shocked that he blew up the ceiling. Was it worth celebrating? Of course, the young man next to him was shouting, because at that moment the young master was passed out. Uncle told Lin that the young man exuded very powerful magical energy and it really was him. Now he understood, he was able to perceive magic power. Is it because of the magic book that Oliver gave him? But why did he end up in that strange world when he awakened his magic? Lin wondered and asked Carl to take a look at this book. He asked Carl to try to follow the instructions in this book to improve and then tell him if he feels something strange. Carl looked at his master uncomprehendingly. Strangely, neither Mr. Carl nor my uncle felt anything unusual after reading the book. Perhaps only Lin could enter this mysterious place and every time he wanted to tell the others about it. But every time he wanted to tell, he spoke in a language that no one understood, so everyone thought he was bewitched. Moreover, after yesterday's destruction of the ceiling, every time during meditation, the young man started coughing up blood. Later, he discovered that the system did not allow him to increase the level of magic power. The young man tried not to enter the ranch, but the freak calling himself the butler. He broke into the real life of a young man. The screen was telling the young man about a dragon who didn't have enough food and his health level was minus 10. Lin ignored the system. 
The butler shamed the young man and told him that he wasn't worried about basic needs at all, because everything would go away on its own. He was just the best rancher, and for some reason, no one except the hero himself saw this screen. Even at the table, when his uncle was sitting opposite him, he did not see the screen that was in front of the young man and wondered why he was not eating. Lin lied by saying that his appetite had suddenly disappeared. It was not the first time uncle had heard this from a young man, but it was necessary to eat well to practice magic. His body should have enough strength. Then uncle told Lin that he had told Mr. Oliver about his success and maybe soon he would come and help with the study of magic at the Maota Iris Academy. St. Iris Academy, Lin asked in surprise. This is the best academy in the Orland Empire. Mr. Oliver is the vice dean. The young man's father was one of his students. It was said that Lin's father was the most gifted student, and now he can go to school. Lin's dreams were interrupted by the butler, who told the young man about the critical condition of his dragon because the condition had fallen below 10. Not enough food and ignoring this problem will lead to the death of the pet. In the event of a fatal outcome, the rancher will be turned into a dragon egg to compensate for the damage. Lin wondered what kind of rules this butler had. After that, Lin had to come in and feed the bastard every day. He watched the dragon devour the food, that was the appetite, just hoping that then the dragon would not start stealing energy. Having eaten his fill, the dragon slept. His level has increased. Probably, good food and sleep will help the animal gain weight. Lin patted the dragon on the head and he immediately got angry, telling the young man not to dare touch him. The butler informed the young man that he looked more like a skilled rancher, to which Lin believed that the butler had become more like a wolf in sheep's clothing. The butler obeyed every word and asked not to forget the master that it was thanks to them that he was able to get all these magical abilities. The young man was surprised to ask the butler if he could really use magical abilities thanks to him. The butler replied positively and told the young man that he could get even more of them from him. More, what does it mean? The system reported that the dragon had raised its level to one. The young man opened a magic training room. Why not go to it and take the first lesson? Lin found himself in a room on a balanced meditation board. The young man understood that as soon as he lost concentration, he would fall off the board. How was it necessary to concentrate and meditate at all? He asked the butler. The system reported that five seconds had passed. Meditation had failed and the hammer of retribution was about to be released. 40T of retribution was coming at Lin. And hitting him in the face, the young man began to fall. Then he was grabbed by threads from the board, and he kept his balance. Until the hero can meditate for five seconds, he will not be able to leave the room. In case of failure, the hammer of retribution will be released again. The young man asked the butler if he was trying to teach him or kill him. Lin was hit by the hammer of retribution countless times until he completed his training. The magic level has been raised to one. It's been seven whole days. The young man has been training for so long, maybe he can try something, right? And he decided to activate the magical perception. But the light was too small. Turning around, he was glad that no one was around. But no, it turned out that little Jack was nearby. And he ran to the master, telling him that the young master could use fire magic. The young man tried to catch the kid so that he would not dare to tell anyone about this shame. Then he saw that the fireball had become stronger. The butler reported that the power of magic depends on the skill of the rancher. And the young man suggested that baby Jack try again. To which he asked not to approach him. The young master's joyful days in this manner ended with little Jack's joyful cries. After Mr. Oliver received his uncle's letter, he sent an invitation letter to St. Iris Academy. And Lynn Lanster finally went on the road to become a magician. The carriage ride will take a month to get from the manor to the academy. During the day for the baby, Jack took the young man to the academy. At night, the gentleman visited the ranch to train and raise dragons. The butler informed the young man that he should continue to meditate and then he would not be stung. The young man was meditating among the bees' nests, already quite bitten. Unknowingly, the dragon got bigger. He looked pitifully at his master sitting on the nest. The young man did not understand why, but then the screen informed Lin that the nest had become small for the dragon. He had grown out of it, spewing flames at his master. The dragon demanded a new home. Lin thought that this little puppy was more attractive than the butler. He agreed with the dragon, but before he gave him a new home, he invited the dragon to go and see the world with him. The order was received, and the butler carried them to the desired location. The young man asked the puppy if he was afraid, because by his appearance he was definitely scared. But he proudly informed his master that he was not afraid. The man sitting on the throne was asking about why there was a dragon over the rift valley. Our heroes were transported, and the dragon opened his eyes in fear, asking the man where they were. This place was bigger than his squalid place, the dragon told Lin. The young man asked how this place was for the dragon and if he wanted to make a small circle around the area. The dragon was happy. A month later, the young man realized that since he would not be able to get rid of the ranch, he had to work with him at the same time. He will help raise dragons, and the ranch will help him get stronger and stronger until he can find his father and clear his family's name.
All these thoughts came to Lin's mind when he and the dragon were cutting through the clouds over a new place. But then an arrow flew at them and the young man was afraid that the dragon hunters were here. Downstairs, the young man heard screams, someone asked for help and stop. Something demanded to hand over all the things, because they did not need them, since they would soon die. But they were told that it was the last hope of the caravan. The young man thought about the robbery. Then he heard a familiar voice calling the young master. And the young man thought it was little Jack. Snakes hung over baby Jack and the two soldiers who were tied up. How did this happen? The young master has trained so much and lost a lot. Jack decided that he should go and hunt for him. But just as he walked away from the caravan, an evil gang appeared from the forest. One of the gang, who looked like a viking, asked the leader of the chamber of commerce, Mason Lucas, to tell him where all the goods were. If he doesn't tell, then his men, one by one, will become corpses from his babies and the soldier died from a snake bite. The leader of the Chamber of Commerce reported that the buyer is very influential and if they lose them, they will bring them to the grave. Then the gang leader decided to continue, and the snakes obeying him were already next to baby Jack. Little Jack silently apologized to the young master for thinking that he could no longer serve him. And at that moment, when baby Jack had already said goodbye to life and the snake was trying to bite him, fireballs rained down on them. The gang leader did not understand what was happening, and all his snakes began to burn. And then Arlin fell from the sky right on the leader's face, with words for the bandit that he is flexible enough. Jack was overjoyed to see his young master. The young man asked little Jack to move away, as the situation was a bit delicate. The whole gang was standing in front of them. The bandits told the boss that they were afraid of this freak, because if it was fire magic, then the young man had a rank of at least third. Is a third rank magician enough for everyone to wet their pants? The leader asked. They forgot that their boss was here and he was a knight of the third rank. Compared to a mage who needed to cast spells, a knight in close combat had an advantage. And he attacked Lin, but missed. Lin thought about how strong this bandit was. He was right. The magician has no advantages in close combat. Moreover, it was Ia who cast the spell. But in order not to betray his existence, he can only send him back to the ranch. All this time, Lin was dodging. But then the leader noticed it and was already behind Lin provoking him to the fact that he could only dodge. Lin did not have time to react and was attacked by a knight. Being wounded, he flew off to the side. He no longer had the strength to shorten himself. It's good that he managed to improve his agility and mental strength by training in the room. So he has to fight back. In calling for an attack of fire, the young man asked to hear his call and come, but before he could finish the call, the knight attacked him with a blow to the chest. The young man flew into a tree and fell in front of the knight's feet. The one, grabbing him by the head, talked about how naive this freak was that he was just cute. In a fight with a knight of the same rank, a magician does not have a single chance, the knight told the young man, holding him in front of him by the hair and then threw him into a stone. Lin was thinking that it wasn't easy to cast the spell. The screen that appeared in front of him informed him that the rancher's first battle had been discovered and that the system was starting to search for dragon magic. Lin was surprised to see the word search. At the moment, the rancher has one fire dragon, the level of the rancher, one. Available abilities, basic magic, shield, bite, claw. Fire magic, instant, fireball. Did the butler ask if we should continue importing? Lin was thinking about the instant fireball that the animal received after eating the dragon fruit, so the computer wanted to tell him that he could use dragon magic. Yes, the computer reported, dragon magic is basically two ranks higher than human magic. He will be able to use magic no higher than his level. The more dragons he has, the more types of magic he can use. The young man also thought about how good his butler was and pressed the yes button when choosing the use of magic. The gang leader asked the kid not to be distracted from the fight by hitting the young man in the face. And he asked where the vaunted magic was, couldn't he use it anymore? If the knight was right, then the young man had no chance. And pinning him to the ground with his foot, he was going to attack with his sword. The gang leader asks the kid if he is ready. Lin, lying under the shoe that holds it, presses yes on the computer screen so that it continues to import, and preparing to attack. The knight asks Lin if the thin body of the young man will withstand his attack, but Lin managed to use an instant fireball, thereby preventing himself from being killed and melting the opponent's sword. The whole gang saw the fire magic and were surprised. The knight asked Lin in horror if he could use instant magic. Lin asked to be addressed as Mr. A magician who can use instant magic or a knight who lost his sword thought he could defend himself. Lin stood and terrified the gang with his magic. The knight, after seeing the strength of the young lord, immediately asked to have lunch with him lovingly. The others also melted away. Lin immediately escorted them out. Did the medicine work well? The leader of the chamber of commerce asked the young man. Lin thanked him and informed him that his wounds had healed, to which the merchant said that he should thank the young man who was able to protect their valuable goods. Lin was surprised that the merchant was grateful not for the protection of life, but for the protection of the goods. Were goods more important than human life? 
They arrived at the place, and the merchant wanted to show the young man the unexpected catch of their caravan. Of course, it was impossible to compare it with the price of the product, but it is a very beautiful thing. And he asked the young man to accept this gift as a gesture of goodwill. The maid from the forest of elves was in front of them in a cage. The young man was surprised, because the elf race was supposed to disappear when the dragons wreaked havoc all over the world. The life form was similar to a human, it was an elf. The merchant told the young man that no man could refuse such a thing. Such a cute child. The merchant said about the elf and asked the young man to accept the gift. And he asked the young man not to be ashamed, because they were all men here. And the merchant told the young man something. When they found this elf, they were shocked themselves. She looked scared and not injured. As for the mercenaries who were lying around, perhaps they had fallen at her hands. In general, such a beauty can be sold for at least a million gold. But this is certainly not the only thing that the caravan wanted to offer him. They also wanted the young man to accept an invitation to join the Mason Chamber of Commerce. Introduction, Lin was surprised. In truth, the merchant told me again, their chamber had recently gone through a crisis and if they had a few more geniuses who could use instant magic, then their chamber could grow to unprecedented heights. The young man thanked Mr. for his kindness and burning the cage that held the elf. Lin said that he could not accept the merchant's attitude to lives as a commodity. The merchant was annoyed by what Lin had done, because he did not understand how much this value was worth. And it cost a lot. Then Lin threw a small fire towards the merchant to scare him. He immediately ran away from the young man, wishing him to do whatever he wanted. And his caravan ran away with him. Lin burned the elf's dungeon to the end and asked her not to be afraid, because he had come to free her. The girl was touched by his action and looked at him in surprise. The young man asked the girl if she was okay after everything, helping her get out of the cage. The elf answered timidly and shyly, thanking the young man and saying that she was alright. The young man introduced himself as Lin and asked the girl's name, thinking about how cute she was and that she looked like a scared rabbit. After embarrassing the girl and being shy, Lin himself said that she didn't have to talk if she didn't want to, because most likely they wouldn't meet again. He asked her to hurry up before the others arrived. She, in confusion, trying to stop the young man, shouted that her name was Nick. And she asked Lin, if she told him her name, does that mean he won't chase after Nick? Meanwhile, Jack, sitting by the campfire, thought that he had finally got food for the young master. The elf was so hungry that she ate at the speed of light, and the young man tried to stop her and be calmer, otherwise it would be stupid to die from eating. Offering her water, she immediately drank it all. The young man asked her if she would stay with him after her release or return to her clan. Nick tearfully replied that she couldn't come back, because Nick played too much and got lost in the forest. But when Nick found her way home, her clan disappeared and the village was destroyed. There were people everywhere. The soldiers were angry, because only yesterday the elves were here. One of them calmed the other and asked to look around, because maybe this way they can find one and earn a lot of money. Nick, seeing all this, threw the petals that she was collecting and rushed out of there as fast as she could, thinking about the head of the clan, who said to stay away from people. But tripping over the net, she was caught by the soldiers. Lin was very angry at this gang of freaks. Nick looked at him, and he hurriedly explained to her that he wasn't talking about her. And speaking of being human too, wasn't she afraid of him? She called Lin her savior and said she wasn't afraid of him. He was different from the bad people in Nick's opinion. The young man, embarrassed, said that it was not worth thanking. But since everything turned out that way, maybe she would stay with him for a while. Until they find any information about her clan and she can't come back to them. Nick was grateful to the young man. And he told her that he was heading to the academy now and the only people who could be there besides the students were the servants. If she doesn't mind, could she pretend to be his servant? Nick, looking at the young man in horror, explained to him that her grandfather had told her that the word servant was very dangerous. Would Nick really be in without finishing the guy interrupted her, saying that she misunderstood everything. He would not force her to do strange things. All she would have to do was call him young master and change her clothes. As for other people, Nick assured her that as long as he was around, she had nothing to fear. Nick smiled and thanked the young gentleman. The young man was glad that they had cleared everything up now, and saying that it was late enough, Lynn left her sleeping in the wagon and went to sleep with baby Jack. Jack was surprised that the young gentleman got out of the carriage, where there was a beautiful girl. Why the gentleman wanted to sleep with Jack, and not with a beautiful girl, surprised the kid. Lynn immediately yelled at him. Three days later, St. Iris Magic Academy. They greeted the young gentleman who had finally arrived. Mr. Oliver wrote that he would tell about the book as soon as the young man got to the academy, and he wondered if Mr. Oliver knew about the dragons inside when he gave Lynn this book. The screen that appeared announced that the owner had arrived at St. Iris Academy, and he asked to explore the location in order to get the task of opening the egg of the water dragon. It turns out there were other dragons here, Lynn was surprised. The butler asked not to neglect the search for the dragon, because with him he will become even stronger. 
The young man asked in surprise. The butler confirmed that the young man would become stronger. At the moment, there is only one hatched dragon. When the rancher consistently completes all the system tasks, as well as opens six types of dragon eggs, fire, water, earth, light and darkness, the young man will receive the properties of all magical attributes. Lin thought that if he got the properties of all the magical attributes, he could easily become a sage magician. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. The young man liked such an exchange. It was necessary to make every effort, Lin decided, and asked Nick and Baby Jack to wait for him where they were standing. Their master will return in triumph. They wished him luck. The messenger handed out their parcels to the students. Others discussed the method of creating a magic cloud that could automatically adjust the density of sunlight for dragon scale grass and improve the survival rate several times. For Lin, everything was quite expected from the Academy of Magic. Then he was informed that Assistant Dean Oliver had left on business and would be away for a while, although the Dean made an exception for him. But the Academy has rules and the young man needs to take the entrance test. Everyone was talking about Lena, that the person who got here through connections with the Dean probably had a talent for magic, or maybe he would be somewhere on the average level. Then someone will have to move over, if that's true. Others said that maybe he would be of the highest level. It was not for nothing that Mr. Oliver chose him. Lynn appeared and walked past the whispering crowd. Fred Edmund announced that he would test the young man's abilities. Is he ready? Lynn was going into battle and was ready to be tested. Fred liked the young man's confidence, and he asked him to free his mind and put his hands on the ball. Lynn had completely forgotten about the existence of his butler and hoped that the ranch's butler would not be discovered by this crystal. If they find out about the existence of AI and then the butler appeared without thinking and asked the young man not to worry about the crystal. The crystal determines only magical abilities and cannot interact with the ranch in any way. The only thing was, they were interrupted by the examiner. The young man was thinking about his magical abilities. His father was a genius of magic, so the young man's abilities should be good, he thought to himself. The magic ball shook and flames appeared in it. Is this really the highest level? If that's the case, then Lin was hiding very well. Before him, nobody at the academy made exceptions, because Fred even complained to the assistant Dean Oliver, but this child was a real gold. Crystal said about the test results, Lynn Lanster's ability level is low, fire element, weak effectiveness. The young man did not understand how such a thing was possible. Then the butler appeared, who last time did not have time to inform Lynn that the method of awakening the young man's magical abilities is different from others. His abilities are limited by his level. The ability level will increase as soon as he increases his magic level. The young man thought in horror that this was a joke, telling his thoughts to the butler. Everyone immediately started whispering behind Lin's back about how weak he was and why Mr. Oliver had chosen him. Fred told Lin that if the dean had already made an exception, then his word meant little. He gave the young man his things and asked him to arrive at the academy by tomorrow. The young man thanked the examiner. Then Lin Lanster was called by another young man. It was an important character that was discovered for the task, the butler reported. The young man's name is Augustine. Position, President of the Association of Students of Pravda. Task, defeat him in the Tower of Magical Trials and get a fragment of the Water Dragon Egg. It will open only after completing the task in the Magic Tower of Trials. The difficulty of the task is high. Dean was surprised that the system could also detect other people's capabilities. The first goal was not an easy one. Then Augustine called him again. He asked the young man to immediately hand over his uniform and badge to him and immediately leave St. Iris Academy. He told Lin that he did not know what tricks he used to deceive the assistant dean, but the scum who use such vile ways to get here and have the audacity to stand here are desecrating the glory of the academy. Lin immediately remembered his childhood, where he was bullied. People asked him to get lost and did the chairman's son really think he could just buy something at the store? Trash like him doesn't even dare to stand here, the other boys told Lin. The young man asked the president why he sounded like street punks. He calls himself president, but he tramples on the fate of other people. Just because he has more privileges, does he not desecrate the name of the academy himself? Lin asked Augustine, were the students talking behind their backs about Lin being a fool? And the one who got into the academy by deception talking about fate? There's no point in getting your hands dirty about this rabble. He won't even pass the test. Sooner or later he'll be kicked out of the academy anyway. Lin told himself to calm down, despite the rage. You can't lose control and just give up because he really didn't use the most honest way to get here. It is useless to argue with them. And if he ruins his reputation in front of students and teachers, his studies will not be easy. Yes, and this would not be the best stratum to become a magician of the rank of a sage, the young man thought. And Lin turned around and left. He needed to find a way to become stronger faster. You can't get enough of the system anymore. He will use his own power to make everyone regret his words. The butler greeted his master. Today, a dragon fruit has ripened on the farm of a young man. A small dwelling also brings a normal income. 
But the dragon Ia complained to the young man that he had not improved his habitat. The dragon was extremely annoyed. Lin promised the dragon that if he was a good boy, he would change his nest in a couple of days and offered him sweets to appease. He proudly turned away from the young man. Ia complained that the owner had said the same thing two days ago about his nest and that the dragon would not eat until he changed his dwelling. The young man, stuffing food into the dragon's mouth, promised that he would definitely change his home next time. Did the dragon offensively tell the young man that since he was feeding him, he thought that the dragon cared about the guy's problems? Lin thought of him as a child and asked the butler to leave the ranch. The young man thought that the small fire dwelling produces 500 gold per day. After sowing the dragon fruit there is still a little bit left. But in order to improve a small dwelling, a young man needs 10,000 gold. When Lin woke up in the morning, he only thought that he needed to find a quick way to earn money. What should he become? A waiter, a driver of the gods, or to fulfill several orders for mercenaries? Babysit children, as all this choice tired the young man. The young gentleman was interrupted from his thoughts and called to the table. Nick greeted the young man in the maid outfit and informed him that the servant from the hotel said that these were suitable clothes for Nick. Was it strange? She asked Lena. Lynn patted Nick on the head and said that there was nothing strange about her new outfit, because such clothes were usually worn by servants in the human world. But the young man had the feeling that he had offended Nick. If anyone other than the servants could come to the academy with students, he would have given Nick a more beautiful dress. The girl was touched, ran up and hugged him, saying that she would never feel uncomfortable next to the gentleman. During the hug, our hero blushed, thinking about the pleasant and fresh, clean smell of the forest coming from the girl, offering to clean themselves up, after which they had to go to school. Yesterday's entrance test made Lynn a celebrity. Although they treated him badly, they did not try to complicate life at the same time. When he arrived at school, he was given a schedule. His class was in Zone 1, Building A, Year 1B. The young man had to go and introduce himself to the teacher. Upon entering the audience, he was immediately stopped by a voice that asked who allowed him to enter the audience. In front of him was teacher Yisha. The reason why Yisha looked down on the nobility is because their only ability is to make connections. Even if the whole school would not mind the tricks of the young man, for the sake of respect for the assistant dean, the teacher would never allow the young man to be in her classroom. Behind his back, the students immediately began to whisper whether the same Lin Lai was in front of them and how he even managed to get here. Others thought he was good at finding workarounds, so why did he enter the auditorium through the front door? And someone wanted to show him the way out. Did Lin really think that with such a weak talent he could sit next to the others? Leaving the classroom, the young man asked the butler to scan the features of those sitting in the classroom. The information was immediately displayed on the screens and cards with information about the students opened in front of his eyes. All of them were about the same level as our hero. The young man wondered how the best academy could teach such star-studded parasites. He turned to the teacher and asked the main topic of the lesson. She was surprised. Then the young man decided to explain to her. After all, she does not want to allow him to attend classes, as she believes that his skill level will not allow him to study hard. But what if he can prove that he is better than all the students present? Will he then be able to study quietly in this classroom? The students laughed at the young man's words. How could he be better than them? They thought he was an idiot, because these were classes on magic potions. Potions are tied to the level of human abilities. The higher the level, the more stable and cleaner they are. Someone like Lin will never be able to achieve even a drop of their success, much less be better than them. The teacher asked everyone to be quiet. She was interested. Student Lin is so confident in herself, so maybe she should raise the stakes. She gave the young man a chance. He had one week, and then there would be a test. If he takes the first place, she will allow him to attend classes. But if he couldn't, he would personally kick him out of school, and he would never be able to enter the academy grounds again. He understood that if he lost, he would be kicked out of school. The bet became much more serious than he had expected. Hovering over him, Yisha waited for an answer. The screen announced the main task for obtaining the egg of the water dragon, Ishi's bet. Requirements required to pass. Take first place on the potion of jams test. Task difficulty, low. Rewards, water dragon egg fragment 1. A magical experience, 20. Lin had completely forgotten about the butler. Once the task is accepted, you will have to complete it, besides there are rewards. And Lin agreed to the teacher's bet. This guy is still holding his face, even after such a warm welcome, Yisha wondered. Not only did he pull the strings of the assistant dean to put pressure on her, but he also manages to think in a dangerous situation for him. Maybe the rumors about him were lies. The situation was getting much more interesting, Yisha thought to herself. She really hoped that Lin Lanster would be able to surprise her. Academic Library Now the young man understood why the academic library was called the most magnificent place in the empire. It was very beautiful in it. There should have been a lot of books about magic potions here. But even then he was not allowed to relax by those who were whispering behind his back. When they saw his students, they talked about him. 
namely that the freshmen were supposed to be in the classrooms now, but it looks like the young man was kicked out for stupidity. Lin, on the other hand, thought that these gossips only knew how to talk. Then a consultant appeared and reported that noise in the library is prohibited, as third-year students still have not remembered this yet. If they don't shut their mouths, they'll get a fine. One of them started to bully again, but the second one stopped him during so that both would not receive a fine. Lin thought that the girl had saved him, and she apologized to him. The young man asked why she was apologizing, because they were insulting him. She informed the young man that she was a library consultant and it was her fault that he was not allowed to read quietly. The young man thought that this girl had a huge sense of guilt, and he decided to ask for help in finding some books on magic potions that he had to find. She agreed and asked the young man to call her Vivian. The book encyclopedia on the creation of magical potions and all the books that the young man needed immediately fell into his hands, folding into a neat pile. What else could he expect from the Academy of Magic? Vivian informed him that these books contain a lot of information about magic potions and recently she heard that he was preparing for a test, so she warned the young man. It would not be a written knowledge exam, but a practical one. Will he be able to cope if he just reads these books? Is Vivian worried about him? Lin thought to himself. Then a hint came out from the butler. It said that wealth and beauty can be obtained through diligent study. The young man calmed Vivian down by telling her not to be afraid, because he was confident in himself. And he confessed to her that she was the first person in the academy who did not start insulting him after learning rumors about him and thanked the girl for it. And he promised her dinner after he took the first place and left saying goodbye. The girl remembered the instruction that she had been given to do everything possible to get close to Lin. And then, and Vivian admitted to herself, as if to herself, after the young man left, that she was apologizing for the wrong guys. Lin's house is at the academy. He was called to eat, but he said that he would come down to eat as soon as he finished his book. Little Jack informed him that the young man had been reading this book all day, to which Lin replied that he had only a week before the test. After he finished studying this book, he should hurry up and try out the knowledge. Five days later, Lin was devastated from reading a bunch of books. Lying on the floor, he thought about the clue that said that the key to solving the problem was AI. Creating magic potions requires stable mental powers. Beginners usually don't have them. Thus, it will be necessary to add dragon saliva as an additional ingredient. Of course, with the addition of dragon saliva from a real dragon, even the most ordinary person without magical abilities will create a flawless potion that can compete with a potion from a professional in this business. The day of the test, everyone couldn't believe their eyes that the young man had created a potion. How did he manage to control his mind so well? He was definitely cheating, everyone thought. Then teacher Isha returned and slapped the student's dog, which made a noise. And looking at the young man's potion, she was surprised to think that with his talent, he really got such a good reagent. Not bad Lin Lanster. The quality of this potion is really good, the teacher told the young man. If no one can do better than him, then he will get the best result without any questions. But she immediately informed student Lin that he himself had heard the doubts of the others. In order to convince the audience of your honesty, you will need to stand on the podium and make another potion under the supervision of the entire class. Lin then asked the teacher angrily, did she really think he was cheating? The students thought that, of course, he was cheating. Who else could the teacher suspect from those present besides him? Another student screamed that it was all about dragon saliva. After all, during the creation of the potion, the young man allegedly added an additional ingredient that helps beginners stabilize their mental abilities. The student shouted that he was sure of it. Another idiot like Lin could achieve this in seven days of self-study. Lin asked about the additional ingredient, grinned and remembered how he created the potion. Lying on the floor in his room, he talked to the butler about how, if he was not mistaken, the time on the training ground was seven times slower than in the real world. Was it possible for him to practice potion brewing there? The butler replied positively. Since no one trusted Lin, he would do as everyone wanted and create another potion. Isha was surprised at how easily the young man agreed. Five grams of ghost vine stem, ten drops of demonic rhinoceros snake saliva, and naturally, three grams of fire and water stone. Talking through all the ingredients, he recalled all his 291 one-way trips to create this potion. Isha looked at Lin and thought about how he was so good at controlling his mental abilities. Although it is true that such a result can be achieved at a low level of abilities, such a concentrate can only be obtained with impeccable mental balance. The young man was really better than everyone she taught. While she was thinking about it, Lin finished his potion and everyone around was surprised because it was impossible. He had a top-level potion. Yisha approached the young man and asked if he could tell them if he had such a talent from birth. Lin said that this was not entirely true. It was all just the result of study and practice after hard training. The teacher thought that the young man compensated for the lack of talent by making great efforts. Is that why the assistant dean made an exception to accept this child? 
then if he doesn't become the greatest magician in the future, his perseverance will be a great motivation for the entire academy. She called herself the punishing hand of the law of the academy, but in the end she could not look into perspective and apologize to Lana Lanster for being wrong when she forbade the young man to attend classes and bowed to him. The young man was surprised, and she informed him that there are other students who were able to achieve a similar result, but for the fact that he studied independently, also practiced a lot in such a short period, she gives him the first place. The screen reported that the task for pairs with Yisha had been completed. Reward A fragment of a water dragon egg minus one and magical experience 20. Due to the fact that the rancher invented a more complex method of completing the task, an additional reward will be given, teleportation mace of one. Because he did not rely on dragon saliva and underwent the hardest training, the gentleman can be considered very smart, the butler said, wise or not. The young man just didn't want to leave a stain of shame on the place where his father worked so hard. Besides, how can such a precious ingredient as dragon saliva be used in such a simple matter? He still wants to use it in exchange for riches, and the saliva of this animal is really useful. With its help, the young man can easily prepare pumped potions. One bottle can be sold for thousands of gold. It's worth going to the dealer tomorrow and selling. At the same time, he recalled the dragon who threatened to burn down the entire ranch if the young man did not create a new nest for him. Then, after the sale, it will be possible to install a new home for the puppy. It was already late enough, and the young man was thinking about Vivian, who could have already finished her work in the library, because he had promised that he would invite her to dinner after the test. If she hadn't helped him find those books, he would have easily failed. He came to the library, but I couldn't find Vivian anywhere. Then a girl in a hat called out to him, asking if he was Lin by any chance, and the girl informed the young man that if he was interested in where Vivian was, then she was behind the school and was preparing to confess to him. The young man looked at the girl in surprise. She asked not to make such a face and go listen to Vivian even if he was going to refuse her. The butler reported that the young man has the main task of the water dragon egg, the princess, which Vivian carries, conditions of fulfillment, to be the princess that Vivian will carry. The difficulty of the task was low. The reward was one fragment of a water dragon egg. One out of ten magic experiences were collected. Twenty. The damn butler was out of time again. As always, the young man complained. The girl hurried the young man, telling him that he should hurry, because Vivian was going to wait for him until he came to her. And she asked the young man to follow the bee. The young man's gut told him that something was wrong, because he had met Vivian only once and despite the fact that they had a pleasant enough conversation, it was not enough to admit. And compared to the last assignment, it was more like a joke. It wasn't as easy as it seemed. And when he heard the scream, he rushed at him, ran and saw a strange place. Why the academy was such a strange place, he did not understand. When he saw the blue portal, which had the inscription Vivian Mason entered and is waiting for the second participant, the young man did not understand whether Vivian had entered inside. But then a blow in the back pushed him towards the portal. The young man no longer found out who it was and why he did it. The portal sucked him in. The inscription on the portal was extinguished that Lynn Lanster had entered and the trial had begun. The girl who previously helped our hero began to change her appearance and tell us that when she was bullied by undergraduates, no one stood up for him, but Lynn got here through connections and everyone called him garbage. So why? If Vivian loves helping people so much, let her do it for the rest of her life, they'll both go crazy. Lynn fell from the other side of the portal and saw Vivian sobbing and hanging from the ceiling, chain. Lynn didn't understand what was going on here. But then he felt that there was something behind him and it was a giant wolf. Lin was fighting a wolf, but he couldn't figure out how this magical beast ended up here. The main thing was to dodge. If the cold emanates from this aura, then he will die. The wolf was strong and only after jumping back did the young man pay attention to how he could jump high, since when? After gaining experience from the last assignment, he became a second rank magician. I did not expect that his physical abilities would increase along with the level, in which case he would be able to finish off the wolf. The beast was fast, and the young man barely managed to dodge its attacks. The body could keep up with the wolf's speed, then his attacks would be effective. He hit the wolf and was glad that it worked. At that moment, the chains lowered Vivian lower and lower, and her hat fell on the bayonets from below, piercing her through. The young man had already rushed to Vivian, but, fortunately, the girl was not injured. Then he thought about how he had been so focused on the battle that he had completely forgotten about Vivian. Why did she drop lower? It turns out that the wolf he defeated destroyed some steel spikes but was still alive. Did it mean that the lower the peak remained, the lower Vivian would sink? But if he didn't get rid of them, then how could the young man save Vivian? And then our hero came up with something and asked Vivian to wait for her. He shouted to the girl that there were many experts in the academy, and they would be able to save her. The young man reflected that he had come here quite recently, and a magical beast, the gate, had appeared from here. But where were they? Has the entrance disappeared? Are they stuck here? 
They were framed. The reptile that threw him into the gate looked like the girl he met in the library. But why did she do that? Lin didn't understand why this girl would kill them. Is there really no other way out? Will he have to release it? But Vivian was there. Did she keep it all a secret? The young man wondered. And while he was thinking, the wolf was already on his feet. The beast ran at the young man with all its legs. He furiously ordered not to interfere with him and released fire magic towards the beast. The butler immediately congratulated his master on his victory over the phantom wolf, and one experience point was also obtained. The phantom of the wolf, the young man asked the butler, but the butler reported that the task was outside the jurisdiction of the ranch, so the young man would have to find out the information himself. Ling got angry at the computer and asked it not to show up at such an inopportune time. Then something came out of the wolf and flew to Vivian. The young man, delighted, asked Vivian how she was. Every broken peak lowers Vivian lower. Every time he kills a phantom, Vivian gets closer to the safe zone. Was Lin right? Suddenly, two wolves appeared in front of him. Every wolf he kills, the young man was automatically divided into two. It looked like some kind of mechanism. Then the young man thought about the mechanism. It seems that there was something similar in the student manual. A third-year student and above can enter the world of trials and compete with demonic creatures, Lin read in the book. The teacher will adjust the test mechanism according to the required task. As soon as the players win, they will automatically return back. And the young man regretted that he had looked at that book with only one eye. That was all he remembered. So the reason the wolves have the name Phantom is because it's a test for undergraduates. If Lin understood the mechanism system correctly, the key to passing the test should be saving Vivian. Then Lin was going to continue. He fought off the wolves with fire magic. At this rate, the young man will not be enough for a long time. Each wolf he defeated was immediately divided into two. It would not be possible to defeat them with fireballs alone, Lin thought. If this continues, then even if you avoid being bitten, there is a risk of falling off a cliff. If he remembered correctly from the abilities he received from AI, besides the fireball there were others that could be used. There was a shield, a bite, a claw. A shield was what was needed when the wolf attacked the young man. But the force of the wolf's bite was so powerful that the shield was bursting at the seam. There was no end to the wolves, and the young man decided to try using the claw. Although the claw did a lot of damage, it did not solve the main problem. Experience points were added. Although the young man did not kill anyone now, but then a magic ball appeared flying out of the abyss. It turned out that throwing off wolves could activate the mechanism, the young man thought. As long as Ling controlled the numbers, he had nothing to fear, and he was ready to fight with everyone. After scattering all the wolves, Lin realized that he probably didn't need to fight anymore and Vivian was free from chains. Lin caught her and tried to calm her down. They have completed the task, which means they should be teleported out of here soon. Then a huge staircase appeared in front of them. Vivian apologized to Lin and told him that as soon as she got here, she was tied up and hung up so she couldn't help anything and he suffered to save her. The young man stroked the girl's head and tried to calm her down, saying that she loved to apologize very much. She shouldn't blame herself, especially since she had helped him before, and it was worth considering the fact that they both needed to be saved. Lin thought that if he freed her from her chains, they would be able to get out of this training world. He did not think that there could be another stage here, and he turned to the girl. Vivian had been at the academy longer than him. Did she know anything about these training worlds? The girl was apologizing because the training worlds were for undergraduates, so she didn't have any useful information. The guy joked at her that she was apologizing again. Vivian apologized again saying that it would not happen again, since they did not know the rest. They could only hope that they would cope with the next stage. Recently, the young man killed a lot of wolves, so there may be even more dangers ahead. He told Vivian not to worry, because he would protect her. But the girl rejected the guy's help and said that for the next stage she wants to fight next to him. But she was immediately afraid of the bats that appeared, hiding behind Lin, who simply burned them with a snap of his fingers, and he asked her if she was really ready to fight next to him, to which the girl replied that it was all an accident. They went down the stairs, and the young man asked the girl if she felt that the fog was clearing. Vivin felt, and she also heard a sound. Then the steps began to collapse under them, and they ran. But before they could reach it, the ladder collapsed under them, and they with it. Lin was thinking that he would have to do this and he was about to call the butler. But then Vivian interrupted him and called out to the great winds, whose servant was calling them to grant her wings. And then Vivian had wings behind her back, and Lin was in her arms and asked the girl what she knew about the amazing magic of the wind. Vivian replied that she had studied for two years. The screen announced that the task had been completed, namely, the princess that Vivian was carrying. The reward was a fragment of a water dragon egg and 20 magic experience points. Lin thought that not only had he been saved, but the system task had also been completed. He clearly owed Vivian a lot. The screen also congratulated the owner on getting level 3. The current experience was 12 out of 200 and since he only cares about his new habitat, 
he did not receive an improvement in dragon magic. They were finally down, touching the ground. Our heroes saw the shimmering stones. As soon as you step on them, they will automatically start to glow, just like people like, Lin said. And then they saw a portal in front of them. Vivian asked the young man, couldn't they come out right now? Lin thought about the wolves he had killed. They had not been resurrected, and the path to the portal looked safe. But he didn't think that whoever came up with the test would just let them go. The young man asked Vivian to move away and decided to see if there were any traps hidden here. Throwing a stone, he bounced off a stone on the floor and something moved. The stone bounced off and the cat that was above the portal tried to hit them with a ray. Lin thought there would be an ambush here. They fell to the ground and Vivian saw that Lin was injured. He immediately informed the girl that he was alright. The stone activated the trap and attacked him. But why, the young man did not understand. And then they saw how the statue that attacked them was cracking. And a sleepy little wolf appeared from inside, who attacked them with his ultrasound. This wolf cub can resurrect the rest of his own with ultrasound, but if he can resurrect them, then there was a key to the exit, Lin thought. The key to the exit turned out to be a claw. They were attacked by wolves and the young man fought back again. Once the wolves were resurrected again, it would never end, he thought, and Lin won't be able to deal with the wolf cub while there are so many creatures around him. Then Vivian came to his aid, who called upon the great winds to turn her cane into the sharpest blade and destroy the enemy. Vivian was beautiful, but her attack was blocked by the wolf cub's shield. Memories from her childhood flooded over the girl. Here she is riding a horse with a knight and everyone around her is discussing how a huge merchant fleet was on the expedition. But when faced with a demonic creature of the 8th level, this escort group could not even break through the shield. When the reinforcements arrived, they found only a living child in a mountain of corpses. And remembering the shield as a child, she panicked, starting to tell Lin that they couldn't win. Their level was not enough to break through this shield, and lowering her hands, she told Lin that they would die. But Lin was brave and tried to cheer Vivian up. He told her that they could not die, because there was always a way out and the young man was with her, so nothing would happen to her. And again she remembered her childhood and the huge snake in front of her. And her protector stood in front of the snake and told little Vivian not to be afraid, because he was there and would not let anyone hurt her. Vivian couldn't understand why this was happening all over again. And asking herself what she was doing, she had promised herself that she would never hide behind someone else's back again. Was she going to watch her protector die again? And she decided that even if she died, she would never be the same as before. She would no longer hide behind other people's backs. And with these thoughts the girl rushed into the attack. Lin was surprised to ask Vivian who hit the wolf with a physical attack. And Vivian apologized again for using up all her mana and now she can only fight like that. The young man asked her not to apologize. Thanks to her he understood how to deal with the shield. He uses a fireball to give Vivian a way out of the wolf's cordon. Will she be able to hold them off for 30 seconds? Vivian promised to try her best. Lin used a fireball and the wolves fell one by one, while Vivian ran to the portal. Since the young man's magical attacks were reflected, he decided to use his fists, because it could work. And using brute force, the young man tried to break through the shield at the cub's head. It worked and hitting with all his might, he broke through the shield and attacked the wolf cub with a fireball. Vivian should be fine now, he thought. The screen congratulated him on his victory over the boss and for this the young man gets 10 experience points. He also received the title, the ability to bend wolves to their will and summon packs. The butler also congratulated the young man on learning a new skill on his own, the fire fist technique of the third rank. Awards, book one. Lin was surprised by the latest award. Vivian ran up to the young man and showed him the real portal that she saw. Then she noticed Lin's body, it was all wounded. Lin stretched out his hand into the portal and the feeling was the same when he first got here. Vivian was apologizing to the young man again for being useless. Lin tried to calm her down so that she wouldn't apologize anymore, especially since it was just scratches. And with a smile on his face, he took her by the hand and offered to take a walk. He really wanted to see the sky. When they entered the portal, they were congratulated on passing the test. Vivian Mason got a B, and Lynn Lanster got an A+. The results will be sent soon. The young man did not understand why a feeling of lightness suddenly appeared in his body. His wounds disappeared. At first, he thought that it was the butler who healed his wounds, but after studying the student handbook, he learned that there are two ways to leave the world of trials. The first is to pass it, the second is to die. But students shouldn't worry. The world of trials is a complex illusion. Although the pain feels real, the young man actually came out of there without a scratch. Lin listened to his mate who read these rules to him and wondered why he hadn't read this book before. But I decided that it was good that he fought his way out of there. If if he had been killed by a wolf in reality it would have been much more painful. The rumors spread very quickly, and the students were already discussing that last night. The student who got here through connections, even without any talent, passed the tests for third-year students. How is this possible? How could the junior courses pass such tests? 
it was said that it was set up by the undergraduate who started the test. It turned out that the young man passed it. The students were surprised. And our hero not only passed it, but also received an A+. Plus. After this incident, the teachers suspected that an error had occurred during the entrance test and they allowed him to take the test again. Inside the student union, it is true that watching Lin through a magic ball showed the results. For the second time, Lin's abilities and his mastery of the fire element became average. No one could believe their eyes. How was this possible? Because the guy was a level below. Augustine was sitting behind them and angry, listening to the chatter of the students out of the corner of his ear. Since the foundation of the academy, the management has never made mistakes in the tests. How could there be two completely different results here? And if he is really twice the average level, he should not pass the fifth test. All this is very suspicious, but now a lot of people praise the young man and apologize to him. Someone thought that the assistant dean had settled here just for this guy. Augustine couldn't hear it anymore and asked everyone to stop acting like idiots. Lessons were almost over, so Augustine asked everyone to prepare for the patrol, and he decided to find a way to see for himself if Lin was that good. At that moment, Lin felt a tremor all over his body for some reason, but did not understand why. At that moment, the young man was next to the merchant who asked him not to leave. He was trying to bring down the price of the potions that Lin was selling him. He offered the merchant 15 bottles of potions for 2,000 gold and the merchant, handing him twice as many coins, told Lin about the highest quality of his potions and asked the young man to come again. Lin said that he would think about it. Considering how well everything was going financially now, he believed that he would not need money in the near future. And he, thinking about his dragon, went home because his animal had been waiting for a long time and he had to make him a new home. The dwelling has been improved. It was a big house, and the dragon was happy. Lin said that he had not lied to the dragon and here was his home. He gladly confessed his love to the man and dived into the red-hot lava, so much so that it almost poured out on Lin. Was that really how the dragon showed his love? Lin joked. The dragon was apologizing that it just happened that way. The butler congratulated the young man on improving the dragon nest to an average level. Received magic experience minus 5. Gold 200. The current experience is 27 out of 200. A new area has been opened the dragon training ground. Did the young man want to move there now? Dragon and Lin were both worried. One thinking about the training ground, the other about entertainment. And they decided to take a look. Commanding the butler to teleport, they headed to a new area. The young man was wondering what this place would look like. Will it be a dangerous flight course or an arena of fierce battles? In any case, this area will be bigger than his small one. And then the dragon began to tell Lin that he was clearly mocking him. Opening his eyes Lin saw how they were standing on a small cube in the water. How could they even do anything on such a piece of land? The butler appeared and asked the rancher to be patient. As the more tasks he would complete, the bigger this place would become. And after completing all the tasks, he will be able to open the Divine Dragon Arena. The young man was excited by the butler's words, and the dragon reacted to them skeptically, not understanding what it was. It was necessary to complete the first training task. Namely, it sounded like this, wave a dragon bait stick 1000 times. The young man did not understand what kind of task it was. The dragon was ready to play like a cat and grabbed a stick. Wallen asked the butler if this stick was for cats. Did he really think that if he changed one word in the name of a thing, it would completely change its meaning? Could the butler have given the young man a more serious task? The dragon was upset and turned away from the young man and said that if he did not want to play, then it was okay. The young man remembered himself as a child, when he was waiting for his father to play with him. And Lin realized that the dragon was sad, because he was the only dragon on the ranch. And every time Lin came, he was always in a hurry and why did the butler give him such a task in the first place? Lin decided that he would consider himself playing with a child, and waving a dragon stick. I dreamed when this training would end, was it even for a young man or for a dragon? The dragon asked the young man to wave his stick harder. Then a dragon loomed over Lin and the young man could not move and did not understand what was happening. And immediately the dragon took the stick away from Lin. The game has been completed. The butler congratulated the rancher on completing the task, and he learned a new skill, fear of the dragon. How could he learn this from a simple game? The rancher has reached the third rank and is now able to study the magic of the third rank fear of the dragon. This skill paralyzes all magical creatures of a rank lower than that of the rancher. There is a small chance that you will be able to paralyze creatures with a level higher than that of the rancher. The greater the difference in ranks, the longer the duration of paralysis. The butler was congratulating the rancher on the opening of a new training assignment. The limit of tasks for today has been exhausted. The young man can come next time. The territory expanded and a road of stones appeared in front of our heroes. So the butler wasn't lying when he talked about increasing territories after each completed task. There was so much space here. The young man was wondering when he would have the opportunity to open the Divine Dragon Arena. Ia looked questioningly at the young man. 
who promised that he would play with him more often in the future and began to tickle the dragon's stomach. Eir rejected the owner by asking who allowed him to touch his stomach. The next month passed without incident. Teacher Yisha kept her promise and allowed the young man to attend classes. Finally, Lin learned the mysterious magic that he had only heard about in passing. His classmates became more friendly and those who initially humiliated him now called Lin Big Brother. The butler also sat quietly enough and did not bother. Lin thought that he would be able to finish the semester in peace, but he did not think that while helping Vivian clean the library, he would see his father's magical aura behind the curtain and touching it in the library. Only a mop and a bandage from Lin remained on the floor, and he came to a place where a huge dragon skeleton hung on chains in front of him. It was the remains of a dragon. Why such things were stored at the academy and why the portal was with his father's aura, Lin asked himself all these questions out loud. The butler showed the young man the task of the water dragon egg, the last wish of the sleeping dragon. Conditions to be fulfilled. Break the chains on the skeleton and help the sleeping dragon move. Task difficulty, average. Rewards, fragments of the water dragon egg 2. One ordinary dragon nest, magical experience, 50. This was the first new task of medium difficulty. Lin thought about just breaking the chain. I should have at least tried it first. And he tried to melt the chains, but it didn't work out, it would have been too easy. Apparently, at first the young man had to find out what these chains were made of, but accidentally stepping on the aura of the dragon, he revived and attacked the guy, as if becoming a ghost, and activating the shield. The dragon pierced it and his claw stopped near the young man's throat, the chains restrained his movements, and the young man began to think that if he tore them, would he die? The butler asked his master not to worry. He would never harm him. And then Lin heard the language of the dragons. The dragon was singing something about a child, and the young man wondered how the dragon could speak. Thanks to the butler, the young man could understand the language of dragons and therefore heard what the dragon was saying. He asked to return the child to him. If the dragon can't move, it's probably because the bones and flesh were removed from it before it died. The butler could not answer the young man's question, as he was outside the jurisdiction of the ranch. The young man was angry at the butler, and if he could understand the language of dragons, maybe then the dragon could understand him. The dragon only answered about the child. The young man was trying to find out why the dragon was locked up here and what happened to his child. If the dragon tells him, then maybe the young man can help him. But the dragon was only repeating the same thing. Lin realized that he would not be able to talk. He went to look around in case he found something. He saw a grimoire lying on the table, without a name. Would there be anything useful in it? And opening the book she asked to believe her, Zoe Alfreda. Even if they don't talk about us in the near future, in any case, this research will go down in history, the book said. The young man heard his father and uncle Oliver talking. Was this really their laboratory? Lin wondered. All the pages of the book were empty. And then it dawned on Lin, could it be that the book that helped him awaken the dragon ranch was the result of these experiments? The evil dragons were supposed to be exterminated. But maybe his father let them go because he didn't agree to such terrible experiments? Lin wondered. But in that case, shouldn't father be on the other side of Mr. Oliver's barricades? Why did Mr. Oliver want to help him? And he remembered how, as a child, Mr. Oliver had told little Lin that something had happened to his father, and as soon as Lin became a magician of the sage rank, Mr. Oliver would tell him how to clear the family name. The young man pushed these thoughts out of his head. He couldn't prove anything. There was only an empty grimoire left by someone unknown. Lin didn't have any leads right now. He had to look for more information, Lin decided, and he would find out more there. When he came out, he asked Vivian to put her hand against the wall and asked if she felt anything. Vivian could only feel the cobwebs that Lin hadn't removed. A dog student came to the young man and told him that, after asking others, there were no legends about dragons at the academy. And Lin turned to Yisha. The young man asked about experiments that had ever been conducted at the Dragon Academy. Yisha didn't understand why Student Lee had such questions. Dragons are fearless creatures, so why bring them to the academy? But Yisha's expression said something else. Instead of asking such stupid questions, why shouldn't the young man focus on his studies? Yisha advised Lin. Considering his impressive result in the last test, the academy decided to arrange an additional test for him before the last exams, the teacher reported. The young man asked about the additional test. Yisha said that if he passed it, not only would he be able to skip two years of training, he would be allowed to enter the Tower of Magical Trials. The test that the young man passed was an imitation created based on the test in the tower. This is the most difficult test in the entire academy. The most difficult test. Lin asked in surprise, looking at his teacher. 